I dropped a, a topper onto my, or I dropped a topper onto the ground. Unfortunately, my foot was in between the top and the ground. And uh, yeah, so but on the plus side, I'm getting quite good tan lines. So um, especially with the cold croc boot combo. Hello, I'm Henry Andrews and I farm at Lee Worthy Farm. I farm in partnership with my wife and semi-partnership with my four delightful children. We've got a uh, native, predominantly suckler herd, sort of hodgepodge of cattle. We farm 120 acres, all pasture based. I was interested in silver pasture because I wanted a low cost, high production system. We just had a, a fairly bad run with TB. We, we lost a third of the, our, our breeding females. I couldn't really carry on with the intensive system we had. High cake bills, high fertilizer bills, and it just wasn't viable anymore. We decided that we'd go the opposite way, become very extensive, try and keep our, our cash flow low. And we thought, us, uh, we thought an ag agroforestry silver pasture system was a perfect place to start, really. So we're stood in a avenue, what I call an avenue system of trees. It wasn't a system I wanted to Im implement, I was heavily persuaded to, to put it in. I was more excited about shelter belts because that's the sort of plant designs that we're grazing at the moment, sort of old coppice, coppice woodlands. And that's what I wanted to do. But actually, this is my favourite design. The production up here is fantastic. We've utilised the field so much better than beforehand. So, we're man managing it as a sort of a paddock system, so the cattle allowed a, a, a certain amount of days in it. The great thing about it is it's all electrified, so we, I can easily put up a, a bungee cord and I can change the amount of space they have to, to the grass conditions, weather conditions, and it's just so easy. But beforehand, setting up electric fences would be sort of a, an hour job. Now it's seconds. It's really good. But when they're in this, in these tight confines, it's almost like they're going back to their, their woodland creatures that they were designed to be. They weren't designed to be in, in, in a open plains and open fields. They want shelter, they want protection. Their, their persona seems to change when they come from an open field like next door into here. They just feel a lot more content, happy. They, they feel like they, they've got protection from, from us. With this system, I, I, whether it be with the, the tree roots coming down, drying out the, drying out the and uh, um, aeration soil, or how the cattle are grazing it, our rush have gone, gone down dramatically. Um, as you can see down here, the, the grass is growing back really nicely. It's, it's never really been this lush. Whether it's the trees having an effect on, on the productivity or the cattle having an effect, I'm not sure, but it is all down to the silver pasture system. So we're in a living barn, which is what my agroforestry was when I first started the trial. Um, behind me is our, is our existing coppice, which has grown up, has, has been managed, but it's the cattle love. So I thought it'd be quite nice to link um, this new living barn to, to the existing, and hopefully in about 10 years time, it will look like that. We have lots of happy cattle in here. It's humming with life. There's, there's, nice, there's nice lot of biodiversity coming back to the farm. We have two pairs of, of cuckoos which, which come here, which is quite, which is quite like um, this area. So it's a nice, it's a nice spot to be.